Hey guys, so it is late at night. Me and Tara are up to no good. <laughs> you guys remember Tara, she's been in like some of my videos before. At least one of my videos you've been in. Yeah. She's visiting in LA and so tonight is actually her last night, so I'm like so sad. Yeah. And I'm so, back soon though. So we're spending time together. We're just literally like walking around, going to like restaurant. We just came from a restaurant. Now we're gonna go so eat. So good. Now we're gonna go now eat. Now we're gonna go do our little pre before we go out. We're gonna have cheesecake and At her wine. place and wine. We like wine. The last time you saw us together we were drinking wine in the video. This also. is true. So <laughs> we're gonna go do that and then after that we're gonna see where the night takes us. It's getting so dark. There's like no lights around here. Ooh, I'm just joking. <laughs> okay, talk to you later. <laughs> So we're now back in Tara's Airbnb mm -hmm. and we're about to drink our wine, but I wanted to get her, oh, we should be cheers first. Okay, yeah. Okay. So cheers to you visiting me in LA. Cheers. cheers. Um, but I wanted to get her take for you guys on what LA is like as someone who's visited for the first Boy. time. So yeah, so I'm asking her to tell you her take on the events that have occurred. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you this, if you want to get stuff done in LA, you absolutely have oh, to have a car. So good. Sorry, the wine is so good. <laughs> I'll put it down. So Everything is like so spread out. Um, it's just like a massive city. And there's cool spots, but you gotta know where to go. You need a friend like Essie to tell you where to go and like what areas kind of for what that's sort of one thing i've like learned about la is like each area has is like known for its like things mm -hmm. and you've got to like go to that area for that thing it's yeah. not it's not like you, it's like little communities but big <laughs> yeah but each community kind of has like its own thing culture. going on yeah its own culture what it's known for like Toronto is like the fashion district, the business district is like all within like TTC or mm -hmm. like walking distance of each other. In LA it's like you want to go from like the business district to the arts district is like 45 minutes away. <laughs> not Plus traffic. And then traffic. Oh, traffic's a whole other thing. No, I know. Traffic is like the worst day in Toronto every day. <laughs> And also to, um, as a dancer, because she's also a dancer, which I'm pretty sure I mentioned before. I don't remember if I did. I think I did. I think so in our Toronto video. Yeah, I gave you guys a clue. Uh, so <laughs> oh, yes. I, yeah. <laughs> um, so if you looked up the clue. Yeah, so too. if you actually <laughs> if you actually looked at her Instagram, like I told you to, you would have yeah. seen who she is. But anyway, so as a dancer, mm -hmm. can you talk about your experience as a dancer? Oh boy. In the entertainment industry. The great thing about LA as far as dance is concerned is that there's a huge selection of great talented teachers. Mm -hmm. um, the training is like yeah, unprecedented. Yeah, it's true. The training is especially like urban style dance dancing is concerned. Certainly <laughs> there's like what the biggest selection. <laughs> like hip hop and like <laughs> That kind of thing. It's not like, like it's not. No, I wouldn't I really say it's like I just it's like classical. Teasing you. I just wanted to make you feel awkward. Style. <laughs> I don't feel awkward. Um, but yeah, it's, it, there's certainly like a huge selection. I have to say, if I'm going to compare it from like Toronto to New York to LA, um, I I personally love the New York vibe amongst like the dancers and the teachers. I just feel like everyone is just like more direct and like willing to like connect and like help out. I feel like LA is a little bit kind of more like Toronto of like social circles and kind of- Who you know. Yeah, definitely. Um, but that being said, if you're looking to find a way to succeed through taking classes, um, once in a while in LA, that's not gonna happen unless you kind of want to come do the and spend whole, time here. Like, well, well, yeah, but like the scene is like you gotta like kind of find your way into that social circle if you think something's gonna come out of it, which I don't personally think is the right way to succeed, but um, 
if you're coming here solely for like training, it is absolutely the spot. And there's so yeah, many. Yeah, if you're coming here because you just want to go to classes at like Millennium, yeah, Debbie and Allen, like, all that stuff. And take classes this for is, you. This not is about, like a great place because the level of dance is yeah. amazing. But it's just like the people, like the <laughs> yeah, like you're not gonna you're not gonna like walk into a class, take a take a class, and all of a sudden you're gonna get noticed and something's gonna happen. Is not gonna be like that. Um, but if you're coming here, you need to find your own ways to sort of make yourself known and kind of build yourself up. But if you're coming here with intentions of like just gaining experience for yourself and your training um, and just like growing as a dancer, there's so many great choreographers and teachers and it's definitely and the, the place same. that you can take classes like every day. And there's classes like all day long. And the same goes for acting too, because like a lot of yeah. people move here for acting, and I know a lot of people who've watched have asked me questions about acting and things like that. It's kind of like the same thing, right? Yeah, I think there's definitely like it's like a community thing. Um, and like I said, like I just, and she's also getting into acting too. So not to put her in a box yeah, as a dancer. Yeah, no, I. I I've <laughs> it's just that when I met her, she was a dancer. So that's like <laughs> how I keep seeing her in my head. But she's I, like way more than that. I've, I've, I've and she's dabbled in modeling too. So yeah, I've done a, I've done a fair bit of modeling, and more so the acting stuff is more of in like kind of like TV movie extra stuff, mm -hmm. um, and plays and stuff like that. But like yeah, looking like looking to kind of grow more um, in the acting realms, but uh, things are moving and it's, it's been a lot of fun lately. And she's gonna come back here again. Soon, very soon. Or she better, and if she doesn't, you guys should go on her Instagram <laughs> and tell her, why haven't you visited Essie? <laughs> she needs friends in LA. Yeah, like no, friends she can soon. trust. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Not just friends, bro. Girl. You're from Toronto. What no, I know. Isn't it funny? <laughs> you know what's so funny? Every time we go out and I give my California driver's license as like, uh, or no, when we were in Toronto, remember I gave my California driver's license? Oh, yeah. And the guy's like, oh, you're from Cali, huh? And I was like, yep. And she, her and Joanna <laughs> were like, no. <laughs> She's Canadian. She just has to. She just says that she's Canadian. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You could take her to LA. Every time they always so say that. Every she's time I show my California ways. Aww. <laughs> Even actually here you did that too. When we went out the other night, remember I showed my California license? <laughs> did and, I? and they were all like, oh, you guys from Canada? And and you're like, yeah, she is too. Because <laughs> that mine was saying California. But it's just so funny. They always see me as like the same person no matter what. But I always see them as the, like the same as well. It's like just a great friend that I can like trust and like you know, they're always the same to me. Yeah. No matter what city we're in. Yeah, no, I got your back, girl. <laughs> Aww. Yeah. I, I try to look after her, too. I've been, like... It's true, it's true. She's giving her like, all these tips, she's telling one of my her toughest not critics. to, like... No, I know. <laughs> it's not easy having me as a friend, because I will, like, say, if you're slacking, I will be, like, you need to, like, get your stuff together. What are you doing? She says <laughs> the most real shit. It's hilarious. <laughs> But anyway, I want to eat my cheesecake now. Right. So we're going to say bye so we can like finish drinking our wine and eat our cheesecake. <laughs> and then um, we might go somewhere after here, but or we might not. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Only time will tell. Bye!